Hi guys, uh, in today's video we are going to see how we can play old uh, old NES and SNES game uh, on an internet uh, with multiplayer so you can actually play with your friends uh, your old game. So uh, the way you can do it is using NES.party uh, service. So what it does is it provides you a mechanism to load your ROM, already downloaded ROM and share it with your friends. So in order to do that, you need to go to the nes.party and click on this uh, particular link. Click here to create room and start playing. So one, I think one of the person uh, need to sign up. So I have already signed it up. So it will just not ask for the signing up process. So uh, sim uh, process is very simple. You can just uh, sign up uh, using your Google account and you will see uh, something like uh, this icon where uh, it will show you your login details. And here, uh, when, when this uh, option comes, you need to uh, browse, uh, you need to click on the browse.nes button. So it's very consistent on PCs and uh, tab in tablet, I am not, I was not able to uh, like uh, see the screen on other devices. So uh, I think uh, if you're going to go with it, uh, just use PC in order to play it as, because uh, it also only supports keyboards. So Bluetooth keyboard also support it, but it is not, uh, uh, it doesn't have any support for uh, Bluetooth uh, remote controllers or you can say game controllers. So I have tested it with different controllers, but it was not working at all. So let's just uh, go here and uh, click on the browse.nes. So I will just load uh, Contra because uh, I think that was that was uh, one of the multiplayer game which I used to play. Uh, So after uh, I think uh, 15 to 20 seconds, uh, this pop-up came and uh, all you need to do is uh, you need to just select your contra.nes file and click on open. And it will start loading your ROM within the browser only. So it will take some time. So after a while, I think uh, after 10 to 15 seconds, uh, it will start loading up. So it looks very slow now because the entry is kind of uh, like laggy, but uh, experience is uh, much better than this one. They also supports uh, paid service, but uh, I'm not sure whether you should go with it or not, but just to, uh, for the sake of the information, they do want you to subscribe to them. So now uh, there will be uh, there you can uh, select different types of players here and uh, when when this loads up you what you need to do is you need to click on the above URL which is your custom ROM uh, your private room where uh, your player your friends will uh, will be able to join them and then you need to uh, uh, like share it to the other user or your friend and then what you need to do you need to load this URL to their browser so what it will do is it will share this particular screen to your remote player as well. So it is going to connect it. And I think uh, it started to show. So as you can see, both the screens uh, are showing the contrast. So this ROM is uh, being uh, shared with uh, this particular browser. So now uh, what you need to uh, like make sure that uh, you need to select different controllers to both the screens. So if you are selecting controller one here, you need to select different controller here. So I will just use controller two and then you need to remap the keys uh, for the other controller uh, because I'm using uh, the same browser. So uh, in order to, uh, if, if, uh, if the person who is connecting remotely, uh, that person doesn't uh, need to uh, change the control, but for the sake of this tutorial, we need to change it. So I will just change it. Uh, you can change it by uh, going to the, this button. And here, uh, as you can see, I have already changed this. So dot, this one is A and B here. And uh, so start and select here. And numpad will be used for navigating. So I think uh, we are good here. And inside this uh, controller, uh, the above screen, uh, if you can see the controller, this is ZX and enter and shift and uh, navigation for uh, up and down. So I think we are good. And now uh, let me just start the game 
from the host so i will just click on enter and use shift to uh, select the second player and click enter so as you can see they are all sync up So game has loaded. So let me just try uh, different navigation. So uh, my player is blue one. So above uh, this window have blue player. And if I uh, move, uh, if I try to move uh, second player. So as you can see, it is uh, moving the second player. So if he wants to, I, I mean, uh, they will not going to do a simultaneous, simultaneous uh, action because uh, we are on the same computer but if you are on a different computer it will move so let me just jump the first pair uh, i need to focus this one and it will jump and it's super slow right now and uh, if i move wants to jump uh, the second player so it is jumping like this so that is how you can play nes game and it can also support as nes game as well so all you need to do is just select the different ROM uh, which uh, which has an extension of .snes. So I hope you get the idea how to use uh, nes.party URL and play with your uh, loved ones, I guess, uh, and uh, replay your memory. So if you have any question and comment regarding this, please comment below. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. I hope you like the video. Let's meet the next video. Bye. Take care.